Welcome back everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're having good luck with your gardening and all of your projects. And without further ado, let's get to today's projects. Yes, projects. <laughs> Alright, we'll start in the garden. We got the last piece of pipe laying out. I had to stop working on this and do something else. We got all the all the stand pipes and uh, the four inch drain on this side all buried and tested and everything drains properly into the sump tank so I can't see it but right here there's a T that goes that way and that goes underground down here and into the concrete blocks and comes out right there and there's a one inch piece of PVC pipe inside there as well that will come out and then go down into a, a, a pump and that will pump water up out of all these little one inch guys. So these are the fill lines and this is the drain line. So it's all incorporated together. So you don't have a bunch of weird plumbing all over the place to trip over or for kids to mess with and turn valves on and off. So this one here is gonna be pretty much right here in front of the tent, in front of the, the grow bed, same as the rest of them. Now don't look at them too closely because those are not straight as I was Filling it in with the tractor, it pushed out a couple of them. That's all right, though. Don't tell nobody else. And then, of course, once we are ready, we'll install this side, and it will drain over here and into the cinder block where that paver is at, blocking a hole. And then this drain pipe is coming directly out of the uh, biological filter system. So if you guys are wondering, how is this filtering? Basically, that's a solids filter. Solids all get stuck at the bottom, and there's a biofilter that helps break down the uh, ammonia. Now, once the grow beds are installed, of course, that'll be a hundred times better. But that's how we're keeping the water clean for now, and we're only feeding the fish once a day, and not very much, so they don't uh, overcome the system. Ooh, it's been a busy day. So, I fixed the shipping container once and for all. I'm sick of it sinking in the ground. We originally had that thing sitting on railroad ties. Um, you know, you, you could do that, but I'll show you what happens to the railroad ties. At least it happened to this one. <clears throat> it may not happen to the ones you buy. I may have just had a bad one, but as you can see, it's all crushed right here and breaking apart. So the one side of the shipping container was always sinking. I kept having to jack it up and fill it back in with rocks and shims. So today I bought some concrete blocks and we pulled out both of these railroad ties and replaced them with the blocks. You can barely see. The shipping container is closer to the ground now too. We got four of these blocks. Seem to be doing the trick, plus it's laying on the ground, so it'll help with the critters. Now this side is still open at the bottom a little bit, but uh, once I tell you what we're going to do, that will change. So since this is open now, we ordered another shipping container, same color, same size as this one, and it's going to go right here, and there's going to be a 10 foot gap in between, and then we're going to put a roof that connects both the containers. The center section here will be like a kitchen area, outdoor kitchen area over here. We'll have our bathroom, our shower, and some shelves and stuff. And then the shipping container over here will be for my better half, so she can have herself a, a shop as well. That'll be just as durable as mine. And hers is going to be a lot better than mine because when it gets here, we're going to frame out the inside and insulate it, and we're going to put a window or two in it. And then we're going to take some of the stuff out of this one and put it in her shipping container. And then maybe if we have time, well, well, we might, we'll have time. We'll probably do the same thing in this one too to help with cooling in the summer. Heating in the winter is not a problem because it doesn't get that cold out here. Um, so that's what I've been working on all day today, is jacking this puppy up. I've got a pneumatic jack that plugs into the air compressor. It's a 10 ton pneumatic jack, so it lifts up a shipping container fairly easily. 
if you have a big air compressor. I have a pretty big air compressor. And then here's the other project I've been working on. We now have a shaded parking area in front of the trailer. So these are these are 10 feet tall. No, eight feet tall, sorry. Eight feet. So I can, I can still reach it. And then I just used the vertical posts that were already there. And I just took some of the brackets and modified them. See that it bent the sides around like that. Well, probably overkill, but that's what we wound up doing. And then uh, in the future, if I'd like to, I can cover this up permanently and put a metal roof on it. I'll just have to put a lot more ribs across here, obviously. So that'll be uh, something we can do in the future if we want to. I am absolutely pooped for the day, so I'm done working on projects. I'm going to drink a bunch of water, I'm going to eat lunch, and I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, pop those down below. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, keep building. We try to be good to each other. Some of us aren't here for very long. A little bit of kindness will go a long ways. So God bless you all and peace. <sighs> Look at that mess. It's coming together. Things were looking good. <laughs>